himself. And one of the things that you said that, that I put down that I was really interested on, which I haven't heard you speak a whole lot about, is just the just being sedentary and just sitting all the time. Like that's one of the things that I'm I'm getting better at is every hour trying to get up and move in some sort of way. And you know, the thing that I've heard it explained is is like sitting is basically the new cancer. Um, what is what is the issue with sitting so much, and how do you see that happening in affecting the aging process? Well, I have personal experience of that. When I wrote my book, uh, which took ten years, but I was literally sitting for about eighteen months every day and night, uh, I ended up suffering. I my my health went. Um, I could barely walk because uh, my piriformis muscle atrophied and then seized up. It was in a cramp for six months, and that's the muscle that that goes through that hole in your pelvis. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me six months of, of exercise and therapy to, to get back to walking again. So I've switched over to having a standing desk. Uh, it's right next to me just here. Uh, I go on a lot of walks. So why, why is sitting so bad? Well, first of all, your heart rate doesn't go up. You're basically at minimal basal heart rate, which is bad. Second of all, if your major muscles atrophy, you're, if you're a man, you're gonna have less testosterone, but even for women, that l lack of muscle bulk is super bad, not just because your your hormones are diminished, but particularly those people who are my age and older, if you have weak muscles, it's super bad because A, it's very hard to get them back. Uh, it took me a lot of work and it's harder the older you get. Uh, but the number one, or maybe one of the top five, not number one, but one of the major causes, preventable causes of death is falling over and breaking your leg or your hip. And you've got to keep those muscles that are required for standing uh, really strong so that if you fall, you don't break, you just bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it seems like, you know, one of the things that, that that's happening is people are getting too comfortable, it seems, right? We're staying inside, you know, inside of my house, it's at 72 degrees all the time. I can sit most of the day and do all that. But then also at the same time, it's like, you know, if you think about it, we don't put our body through enough stress. And, you know, I live in Austin. We had this, I don't know if you heard about the whole snowpocalypse thing where it's just like crazy. So our ancestors would have been outside in that. There would have been massive amounts of stress of going down to five degrees and all that.